December 2017, I told Jamie I needed uh, I needed a, to make an appointment at the clinic, and and I went in, and uh, she just made me an appointment, and didn't have any idea what was going on or anything else. And Dr. Sensney come in and asked me what was going on, and I said I'm I'm struggling with life. I'm having a a pretty tough time. And, I, I completely checked out. I, I mean, I couldn't even, I just, I didn't function. You know, and, and Jamie went through an entire spring basically by herself. She kept a set of heifers and I just did enough to get by. Everybody kind of has the same story, just a little bit of different versions. But when you're in the midst of trauma or emotional stress, you really feel like you're the only one <laughs> in it which is isolating. And so you don't reach out probably because you don't feel like anybody else will understand your story. And when you do, a lot of people are just like either, I have it worse than you have it. You have a ranch, what are you belly aching about? You have something to come back to. You have it perfect. Just get over it, forget it, don't, you know, you're, everything that you're talking about is so trivial. When you're dealing with a topic like succession plan and the psychological well-being of the individual, how many people can say, I need help? Not very many. Then, I need help, where do I find it? That's the second one, you know. Where do you find that, that type of help? If I, if I break down and tell somebody this, then I'm not as tough as I need to be, so I'm gonna hold this here. And you really, um, you really can't. You need someone. You, if, it's, if you open that Bible and it's God, um, that's fantastic. That's what it. That's what helped me. But maybe it's a friend. Maybe it's your sister. Maybe you go out and you hang out with your dog. So avoidance, um, of course, always leads to worse things than just dealing with it. But sometimes we just don't have the energy to deal with it. It's easier to work, and that appears to like kind of be the most people in agriculture is mentality it's easier to work people deal with those hardships all the time you have to take them head on you, you got it you can't keep pushing them away and hoping they'll go away